So the first thing I do is check the weather during my stay just so I can know what kind of clothes to pack. I'll be staying at an Airbnb, so the next thing I'll do is to save the host's number just so I can contact it once I arrive. Then finally, download offline maps just in case I wouldn't have internet connection at any point. So I start by organizing and laying everything out so I know how much I'm packing. The things that are going into my carry-on bag, toiletries, outfits and pajamas, socks, underwear, shoes and accessories. My strategy for the clothes is to roll them up. Apparently this takes up uh, the least space possible. We'll see about that. I figured rolling up lighter outfits together kills two birds with one stone. One, it saves space and two, it makes it a lot easier to pick them out well, because I'm not the type to fully unpack once I get to my destination. I basically leave off my suitcase. I like to pack two extra outfits in case of anything and also some loungewear for the evening when I just want to unwind and of course pajamas. I'm also packing a few cover-ups for the daytime and a jumper for when it gets cold at night. Other than the shoes I'll be wearing, I'm also packing my batangomas because they go with literally anything <laughs> and also my slippers. I'm packing them in these uh, recycled dust bags that the bags I bought came in. Next is my socks, my satin bonnet and an eye mask just in case. I'm packing these in a mini bag that I made during my sewing phase. <laughs> then this pouch that has all of my underwear. My kikoi that goes everywhere with me and a pillowcase because I prefer sleeping on my own. As for toiletries, I'm carrying my face wash in this small pump bottle that I got from Miniso, uh, a cleansing pad that I made in my skincare video, tea tree oil, some aloe vera gel in a small tub also from Miniso, then uh, the, my facial moisturizer, some deodorant, body moisturizer, toothbrush and toothpaste, and an empty spray bottle for moisturizing my hair if it gets dry. Then for accessories, I'm carrying these bells and a few earrings because that's all the jewelry I wear. I'm carrying my earrings in this small jewelry bag that I got as a gift, I think. And I forgot to pack perfume. <laughs> I'm carrying one of my small Burberry samples that I always ask my mom to bring me. I'm also carrying a big empty bag for dirty laundry. So the first thing is this small bag that has my everyday toiletries including some tissue paper, Vaseline, chapstick, some hand lotion, wet wipes and pocket tissues. A book to read instead of staying on my phone the whole time with my cute little bookmark that I also made myself. A 
an empty water bottle that I can fill up after I've passed security. My travel wallet that I also made myself. Wow, I make a lot of things myself. <laughs> Let me know if you'd like to see a tutorial of this. For this? Of this. In here I have my passport, my vaccination certificate, and my uh, boarding pass. On the other side I have my debit card and ID card and enough money for a day cash so i have some shillings for when i come back home i need to get a taxi and dollars to exchange once i get to addis then my tripod since i'm traveling alone i might have to take some photos on my own another travel companion is my sketchbook and a pen snacks go without saying I'm also carrying a travel adapter because I don't know how their sockets look like. I got this one from AliExpress and it came in this small pouch. My phone charger, power bank and this little pouch that has my USB cable and earphones. A bunch of padlocks lock my things up. I'd rather have them and not need them than vice versa. And finally, because I have a black suitcase, like most passengers, I'll try to make it stand out at baggage claim using this scrap zebra print fabric. 